What's up guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care as we are back with Hey Pikmin and I've done some behind the scenes training. You can see I'm still at Sexta Sexta? Sector 2B. Um, as was we left off with the last time we finished the stream. Wow, look at the world! Oh, it's automatically putting us in Sector 2. Thank you. First thing, so as you can see, 2-A, we have uh, Golden Pikmin and all three treasures, but we did that last time! What we didn't do last time, though, is... We go to Sector 1. You'll see also there's a Golden Pikmin symbol on that as well. Because... I've completed the area now. We have everything, all treasures, all Pikmin. To get the Golden Pikmin symbol, by the way, you don't just have to make no Pikmin die. You also need to find every Pikmin in the levels. And from what I've worked out, it seems to always be... You get four Pikmin at the beginning, you get integers of four Pikmin, so that's five times, and you always end with 20. Unless you get an amiibo, which might adjust the numbers, either putting it over 20 or just filling you up to 20. Not sure, but that's how it's going to go. Right, so because I've been going back over this, getting all of the everything... Ooh, I just knocked my entire desk over, but that should be fine. We have a whole lot of things to catch up on. First of all, I'm actually much better at Pay Pikmin now. I'm a bit more experienced, so hopefully that will show up in the gameplay. But also, let's start with logs. We've got some new treasures to talk over. Also, before I continue, let me just check there's something's muted. Yes, it is. You shouldn't be able to hear an echo. If you do, let me know. Right. Uh, nothing's new over here, but we do have... Whoa, that's actually quite a nice amount of treasure we've got now. So we've got some new treasures that I'm going to read out for us, all from 1-D. So first things first, the stopped doomsday clock. Uh, analysis shows that this device indicates when the world will end. I noticed it stopped though. Does that mean the world has already ended? While I pondered this, the SS Dolphin 2 told me to get back to work, and that our journey isn't over until we get back to Hogatate. It's good to be reminded that my world is still out there. That's uh, kind of scary, but I like how it's called the doomsday uh, clock or doomsday device because that was a reference to Pikmin 2 with another treasure that was a uh, clock. Next up we got the smile detector. Also actually let me go back. The sp uh, stopped doomsday clock. This was in 1-D uh, when I went into a mission, a little cave entrance doorway where you had Pikmin automatically pushing a block down to make the path but I was too busy worrying about the Pikmin dying that I didn't actually collect it because you know, Pikmin were dying and I didn't understand the, the mechanic. I get the mechanic now, so we're all good. Uh, smile detector. Sometimes I look so haggard and drained when coming back from an expedition that the Pikmin kept their keep their distance and the SS Dolphin 2 seems wary of addressing me. Fortunately, now I have this device, all I have to do is stand in front of it and feel the urge to smile. Oh, and I feel the uh, urge to smile. But on occasion, trying to force a smile tires me out. But I'm, and I'm back to square one. Oh well. This guy was also found in a little cavern. Hello, it's Pikmin. Um, in 1-D, this guy literally got pulled out the ground and then, um, sorry, I'm half reading comments and it's throwing me off. I just had to walk up to it and pick it up. I didn't have to make the Pikmin carry it. It didn't matter. You can touch them and you get them. I completely forgot that was a thing. Oh, well. And this is probably my favorite treasure so far, the Independence Monument. This is again 1-D, towards the end of the level, there is a doorway hidden behind a dirt block right near the end that usually gets crushed away by a crystal block. It gets blocked eventually, but I found it, and it takes you to the other side of the ship at the end of the level, which gets you access to this guy. This reminds me of my son telling me that he wants to be an explorer of the cosmos, just like me. It's touching that he looks up to me, but awkward too. I'm meant to be a pilot, not an explorer. Alright, and I think that's us done for now? Apparently I missed a pellet in the first world, but according to everyone else, I'm like everything else here, I'm good to go and do whatever I want because this place is complete, if that makes sense. So the let me check my logs again just to check there isn't anything else I'm missing, but I should be fine. Yeah, there's a pellet here, but apparently there's more. Cool, uh, get me out of this. No, oh, I'm gonna go by, it, it's not It's not saying new anymore, so I think we're okay. Um, yeah. In that case, let's go to the Pikmin Park, because a, a few things have changed. First things first, we got new Pikmin joining the gang. Our Pikmin found something! Well, all three of them. All three of them found it. Nice. Uh, oh no, two of them did. Okay, well, let's go and see how the yellows are doing first. Captain Olimar, I'm happy to report that the Pikmin have found a stash of sparkly seeds. 
This should yield. Oh, very nice. That's ten more sparkium. Lovely. Uh, in that case, you guys can start working in down here because the blue pigmen here <coughs> don't need to be here. They need to be over here because there's water and also redstone found something. I'm missing a level in World 1. I'll go check that out then in a moment. Captain Onimer, I'm happy to report that the pigmen have found a stash of sparkling seeds. This should yield. Oh, very nice. Ten more sparkling. Cool. But yes, this place is a I just completely missed. There's a lake here, so the blue pigmen can go here next, which I think is a, a good idea to say the least. Let's see them actually go in it, because uh, they just walk in and take out a leaf. Oh, okay, or a lily pad. Cool. Right, reds, you're going to go over to the fire pit. Yellows, you're going to go to the grass now. Sound good? Lovely. There's a pellet under 1x. Like, what is that? I forgot. Oh, this! Did I never get this? Secret spot 4? If so, then it's going to be super easy for me to get this. Or was it the same 8 pellet we've got before? Oh well, we'll work it out. Right. First things first, they don't reach. So... Don't panic too much. You're on screen, you're not gonna die. Get you up here, there we go. And now you're all here. Lovely, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I guess this is new, I don't remember it. Remember this. Cool, and give it to me. Lovely. The fact that there's another 8 pellet though is a little confusing to me, but oh uh, well. This is nice music, I like it. Eight more Pikmin are in the park! Shouldn't that really make 16? Oh, I guess no, the bigger ones didn't do that. Right, and now that's us done. I'm guessing it was like purple or something and now it's blue. I can't see the difference. That's really sad. Oh well, but yes, that is us now caught up on logs, treasures, and apparently pellets. Um, because logs not going to say anything new, is it? I don't think so. Would make sense too, because it's just the same as yeah. Okay. In that case, let us move on. Just because we have nothing else to do. So um, sector select, sector select. Go to the blue extra space. I know there's a mini game there. We've already done it, I believe, but I don't want to do it again. We could do it like at the end of the stream or something for fun. Let's go back to the verdant waterfront. Oops, not if I press the wrong thing. We're going to start with 2 B because we've done 2 A. Ready to go? Let's go. This is where I find out I have actually still not finished Sector 1, but oh well, I'll go back if it's a problem. Right. Oh, this actually worked. Lovely. I always check the left just in case it goes wrong. Um, a thing I noticed now that I've um, done a stream and started putting like bite-sized versions up on YouTube is... Pikmin exist. <laughs> a bit more than that. Hold on. Oh! Gosh, that's actually kind of a worry now. Oh well. Um, I found that... Generally, an episode seems to be about the length of a level because it takes me about 15 level uh, minutes to do a level. Now that I've actually played the game a bit more, I can do them each in like three minutes. I can do 1-D flawlessly in three minutes. I've repeated that level, by the way, eight times to get all the Pikmin because like, I'd completed it and like got all the treasures and then I had to do it again to like make sure none died. And then I did one where I none died, but I didn't get the last four Pikmin to see if it would make a difference. And oh, I've just played the game so much now, that one level that I, I know it off by heart, but... Hopefully I'm better at the game now because of it. And when I come up to the issue of the Pikmin gonna die again, I can explain what went wrong last time. I'll find the, the um, logic for it. I knew this was a secret. Okay, so by the way, jetpacking basically works like disbanding here. As long as they are standing still like that, they are safe. They know that they've been disbanded upon. It's when they are walking around looking for me, which happens when you throw them, and then I disband, then they're in trouble. Because he's gonna keep running around looking. Although I, th I think he just joined the group, so he's okay now. But otherwise, that's how it goes. So as long as the group are with me when I disband with the jetpack, they should be fine. It it's worked so far, so I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Right, hello. I guess I'm doing this the stealthy way. Lovely! Rift Ripper. Hello! 
Lovely. Right, now, whoa. Whoa, hello. What do I do? Okay, I just fly for him. Cool. Before I continue, I'm going to make a quick adjustment just because I think I've got a bitrate issue because it's really laggy for some reason. So give me a moment. I've got to talk over it so I don't get a copyright issue too. I don't know why this game is so laggy. For whatever reason, it's just... Also, yes, I'm definitely not flashing red. Like, I'm going to adjust it down again. The setting I usually have when I'm recording definitely doesn't work, but it's just really laggy. Something about my capture device doesn't w work. That's really bad. And I don't know how to fix it. The stream... Yeah, I made a different um, setting for this specific stream, but it wasn't a big difference, so I don't know why it's so... finicky? Ah. Oh well, um, it at least should be a little bit better. The stream says it's healthy, so it's coming in right, so I think it's just the game? Like, the game's not as laggy on my screen, but it's just how it is. Through the, I don't know, it's fine on the screen, it's not so fine on the recording device, so I might have to adjust it between levels. We'll continue with this level for now and see where we go. Hello! I like how they all like finish their poses like they're gym gymnastics. Gym gym gymnasts? I've forgotten the word, but you know what I'm talking about. Like they've just come out of gymnastics. God, I don't know words apparently. Whatever. Although this music is quite nice, I like it. Hello! You should be the third pack. Yeah, they see they're still coming up in fours. We now have twelve instead of eight and four, so like it's definitely a matter of the Pikmin always show up in fours, which is nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Also, I'm going to be whistling Pikmin a lot more because it speeds them up. And that was my main issue before is the Pikmin were too slow and all that fun stuff. All right, are you going to drown? What happens here? <gasps> Uh-oh. Yeah, it drowns. That's really a cool attention to detail. A little gruesome, but, you know, it happens. It may be the stream itself, Daz, the lagginess. Okay. Um, I will look into it between uh, levels again. I'll have a break and I probably won't show it in the bite size to edit hopefully so we'll see how that goes right there is definitely something oh, I want that way oh wow whistling really works underwater okay so you're now not a ball death oops uh, there we go bam look how much faster that makes things also that Pikmin is left behind there you go oh and I just got a bunch more were you up there? Oh yes, you were, and you got caught by the top screen. I didn't even notice. Sorry. Okay, let's go with this now. Get close to me. Lovely. Okay. Uh, or duck monster. I'm not sure if it's a duck, but okay. Um, I think a pro tip I'm gonna give myself in any future gameplays is always break the dirt blocks because they can be blocked, like hidden away and they might have good secrets. Never know. Nope. You're not a ball. You are dead too. Bam. You a cave? You are not a cave. Are you a cave? Are you a cave? Yes. Oh, uh, but you might be the way out. Oh, no. No! Oh, I almost just threw that Pikmin into death. Bam, 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 bam! Oh. Okay, is this the exit? Is this a bonus? The one thing that's a bit finicky about the de design here. Okay. You don't look like a bonus. You look like the path. Generally, it seems to be right is always the rest of the path, and the middle is the secret. So I'm going to go with that logic. You enjoying the game so far? I am, actually. Um... I wasn't. I was a little frustrated last week, to say the least. Understandably so. But now that I've played the game a bit by myself and sort of got to work out the mechanics, it's pretty fun. Uh, fun fact: it only takes four people to get rid of this guy, and they latch onto his feathers. So this is an easy battle. Still looks weird to me the animation, though. How it like the pick just seemed to glue onto it. But, oh well. Who do we get? Is that a bottle opener? Okay. The unstrung racket. Lovely. And down we go. Well, this is very mystical music. All 
Alrighty, I think now we're ready to make our path forward to hopefully find that last batch of four Pikmin and... Oh, I was wondering why I wasn't going up, because I'm not in the water anymore. Hopefully that last treasure too. Bum, bum, bum. There's a, definitely a secret here. Beep. Yeah. Satisfying to get it right. I think I'm starting to get the logic of this game, and I'm, I'm picking it up nicely now. The mechanic is still a little weird how the Pikmin die and how it wasn't told to you that clearly. Um, was that a secret? There's a chance I can get up there. Aha! Aha! No! How did you die? Damn it! I thought you all went with me! Did some- I guess someone got left behind and I didn't see the red. Yep, yeah, I'm looking it up on my old screen and I see that the Pikmin was left behind, I guess, down below and didn't follow me in a, in a place. Oh well. I'll come back to this place between streams. I thought I was doing so well, man. What this game needs is like a, a sound indicator that a Pikmin's left behind. It needs just a little bit more sound design or something. What I think. Oh well. I guess I've just got to keep more of an eye on the, the redness. There we go. Come on, you 13 survivors. Oh wow. Damn it, I have that I've no trouble with that in between streams at all, but some like <sighs> the moment I'm streaming it happens. Typical. And this only needs twelve, thankfully. Hello. You bet you bet I lose Pikmin on the last stream, do you? Uh maybe. Right, hello. Um, oh, you do. You are ground. It's perfect. Out of here. I've also gotten better at just attacking enemies and aiming. I've just generally gotten better. Oh no 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 no! These guys infinitely respawn. That's annoying. This game does have infinite respawning enemies. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. It's a bit annoying sometimes, but hello. <laughs> Definition of uh, safety in numbers. Oh, this is the E3 bit! And I'm suddenly kind of lucky with aiming and I'm not messing it up. Don't mean. Lovely! That. Was that supposed to. No. Yes. Is that supposed to be all 20 then that's here? If so, that's not great. That means I'm missing three. Oh my god, don't run through us all. Whoa! That was not my best. And I can't get back up for that last little bit of spark cleum. And I think I've lost the path upwards. Because I thought this was the secret. Oh, damn. Well, I've got all three treasures. I guess it's not a massive disaster. I guess all I really missed was more Pikmin. Maybe. Oh, downstream fighting is slightly tricky. Don't. You. Whoa, you just came out of nowhere. That's a little unfair, almost. Uh, so are we missing five Pikmin? Oof. That's the case. Looks like it. We're missing five, but we got all three treasures. I'll come back to complete this Pikmin between streams. Nice. I keep seeing people warning me that there's reds going on, like red colors, but like I really need a better indication because this stream is too slow and I can't, I can't, I don't know, I don't know. At least we got all the treasures, which makes me feel at least a little bit more successful. Nice. Brought 15 Pikmin to the park. Ah, Captain Olimar, I thought you might like to know that there's been some activity at Pikmin Park. Cool. Let's go check our new treasures first. Right. Oh, do we have to scroll each time now? Okay. The Rift Ripper. Analysis shows the gem contained this in this item to be seriously hard. Our current working theory is that it is designed to be mounted on spacecraft and used to tear holes in the fabric of space-time. Wow, that's impressive, Olimar. Quite the imagination you've got. Unstrung racket. I've never found a tennis racket inside an indigenous creature before. Oh, right, I, I get it. It's heavy, but I can still swing it. Maybe I'll bring it back with me to teach my son to play. Though I'll need to do some work on it first. Yeah, like, work out that it's actually a bottle opener, I guess. Work-life imbalancer? This beach chair? 
Okay, was designed to help people stay in constant communication with their bosses. What kind of vacation is that? I'm not sure this planet ever had intelligent life. Sweet, that's pretty funny. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, and to the Pikmin Park. What's going on? We got new blues. Good to know. I guess should speed up uh, everything. From 35 blues to... Oh, 35. Never mind. Oops. The Pikmin found something! Also, do notice I've got 164 reds now. I've played the level so many times I added a lot more Pikmin to the park. Oops. Woo! Ten more sparkly arm. Yellows, you better get back in there. Cool. Um, blues are doing their thing. But they're going the different direction now, which is kind of interesting. No! Yellows! I want you to do the electrical. Do the electricals. Yeah! That'll be good. Um, and I guess I... Nope, still can't go to the bottom one. Okay. 